Good evening everyone, I'm Reptile7, and this is my first play impressions of Tron Evolution. Now, uh, I've actually only played a very small percentage of it for the simple fact that I am, excuse me, doing a full playthrough of it online, which I'm not used to trying to upload that much content at once, so I wanted to do a small portion today to try and get a better understanding of how to do it and possibly try and pick up some tips to do it faster, which I did, so I'm happy about that. But also I wanted to limit it because my camera is honestly not the best. I knew I would end up having problems. Like for some reason my camera likes to randomly try to refocus itself in between screen transitions. Now, obviously that's a common thing. I just have to find out how the hell to turn it off once I've already focused the camera. So I really wanted to limit it today just so I could make sure that I fix all that stuff and get it ready for the rest of the playthrough so people aren't bitching and complaining throughout the entire however many parts there are. But uh, yeah, so first hour today, almost at the end of chapter one, going through on the hardest difficulty. The game has really kicked my ass quite a bit, but it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, Visually, the game is stunning. I'm enjoying the whole goddamn thing, and I really feel like it portrays the Tron world perfectly. I've heard a couple reviews that say it differently, but uh, I don't think that they've seen the movie, the original movie recently, or they just have some weird concept in their head of how it originally was. Um, yeah, you can go to IGN or something and hear what they have to say, complain about blue lights all over the level. Watch the original Tron, it's pretty much black or gray with blue lights all over, so it works perfectly. And uh, even just how the lights are streamlined throughout the level, how it flows and creates all the different buildings and the pathways and stuff, once again, also very Tron-like. I really enjoyed it. So visually, I'm going to give the game a great rating already. Also, as far as character design goes and everything else, everything looks spot on. I could honestly see each of the characters actually looking like that. I know that sounds a little off, but whatever. Uh, I mean, as far as the way they talk and they move and everything, everything's visually pleasing. No character moves like choppily or has any weird stance other than my one gripe that I have. Your own character, for some reason, likes to take a pose like he's about to beat the shit out of somebody at the very beginning of the game. That's just how he stands normally. And for some reason, it takes a good, I don't know, maybe five seconds or some slow walking for him to stand like he doesn't have a stick shoved up his ass. You'd think that that would only be for like a fighting area, but they just have it implemented at the start of any movement at all. But that's my only gripe about the visuals. The disc flows nicely. I haven't had any problems with the game really slowing down with enemies on the screen yet, but I'm still at the beginning, so. Final review, I might have something else to say. We'll find out. Um, as far as the sound goes for the game, honestly, it sounds perfect. I haven't had a single problem yet. The audio hasn't cut out. All the characters' voices sync up to the character models. Um, the music throughout the game sounds awesome, and it just really fits the world nicely. And even just all the background sounds and noises just from the characters moving around in the world, nothing seems out of place, nothing takes you out of the experience. It's all perfectly there. So, once again... Thumbs up there. Uh, let's see, something else. The, well, let's say the story of it so far. Uh, right at the beginning of the game, it actually grabs you into the story and, <clears throat> excuse me once again, it makes sense how your character is supposed to be anonymous because it wants you to take on the role of the character. And it does it in a way where 
by doing that, it doesn't mess with the story's timeline or anything else. You're just another program that was created as a security measure. And the way the story progresses and everything, it works perfectly to where your actions explain how the game is going to progress, but you don't really leave a lasting impact to where in the movie that comes out next Friday, you're going to be wondering what happened to my character. What happened to, was it Anon or whatever, short for Anonymous? It just, it, true now I'm at the beginning, but it seems the way that they address your character throughout the game, it seems like he's one of the side little write-off characters that you're just filling the spot of to make it through the game. So that you can sit back and enjoy the game without really getting attached to your character, but still at the same time, when you're using them, you feel like it's portraying you. That might be going a little too far out there, but whatever. It's <laughs> it's 1 a.m. I've been working and going to school all day and trying to do all this stuff, so I've had fun. I might be a little loopy right now. Uh, the only other thing that I have left to really cover is the controls for the game, which kind of coincide with the camera. The controls in the camera have pretty much really sharp movements, and the controls are really, really precise. You can't see it, but I was looking down at my hands like I'm using the controller. But the when I say it's precise, it's overly precise. If I were to move right on either of the thumbsticks for movement or for camera, either the character would quickly shift to the right or the camera would spin around quickly to the right. It's not like the other games where it slowly moves or it's at a character pace. It's computer speed, let's put it that way since we're in Tron. It's an instance, basically. And it gets a little annoying when you're trying to pull off some of the more intricate moves or when you're trying to go after a certain enemy or finish up a combo for some reason you'll be holding back trying to get to another character that's behind you but it'll be a slight angle so your maybe your disc goes flying past them or you end up rolling past a character or off an edge I don't know it just seems it's kind of unforgiving. It's making you know that, yeah, you fucked up instantly and there's nothing you can do about it. But the controls are very responsive and I'm assuming as I keep going through it and I get used to the precise movement of the controls, I won't have any problems and I won't have about 10 accidental falls from the same place. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it for my... First play impressions of Tron Evolution. I can't wait till tomorrow so I can actually have a little bit more time to go through it and add some more playthrough videos. And uh, look forward to a lot more commentary throughout the playthrough too because I realized my first seven videos were really quiet and yeah, I don't know what was happening. I think I was just zoned out. But um, yeah, anyway. Have a great night, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the playthroughs, and this video hopefully didn't bore the shit out of you. Later.